Very good afternoon to all of you. And, uh, greetings from uh, Dishai Hospitals. Well, uh, when Columbus uh, sailed, he sailed to discover India, but uh, he landed up in the USA, the most powerful country. He didn't have much idea of what he was doing, actually. So much in life uh, occur more by default than really by design. So there were defaults in uh, my initial days also. I did not get the conventional government job, which was then the uh, norm, uh, because I argued they wanted a GDMO and uh, they didn't want an ophthalmologist. But then, you know, that hierarchical government system, I could understand that you cannot work where some, somewhere where you don't agree. So uh, that was the end of it. And uh, I started designing a clinic, a big clinic with retinal lasers at that time, 85, and uh, for free, did it for six months. But uh, when the big thing came, all the city big uh, doctors, they came and said this young lad can only be an RMO, not a consultant, which I was looking forward to. So just think, six months back, I had applied for a government job. And uh, six months down the line, and when I got that kick in the back, I somehow spoke out that, uh, see, man, I'm going to have a bigger hospital than what I have done here. So I didn't know how, but uh, it just I it, it just spelled out of my uh, emotions. So then I was back to my hometown, which was 40 kilometers out of the city, and uh, there, you know, with the uh, the optometrist name uh, uh, boldly written, but never mind. He was there for 25 years, so uh, mine small MS, so fine. I was waiting for patients. And there was uh, this guy, you know, doing brisk business, a Fuchkawala. <laughs> and I said that if this guy can do what he's doing, uh, I think we can manage going forward. Uh, because he was, Fuchka was not important. Like, he was distributing happiness. It was, I was observed, I used to follow him very closely. And uh, we all eat Fuchkas. We've seen these things happening around us. But when you are in a tight spot, no, you start observing. So that was the beginning. So when you dream, I mean, Americans, they always say the big dream. The dream, I think, is uh, it aligns you to like-minded people. And uh, I, it helps you or prepares you. So when the opportunity comes, you see it much before the others. So I saw IOLs, and I started implanting in 1988, and uh, free IOLs from uh, Appa Swami, and uh, uh, all, um, I mean, it was given in such a way, my tributes to that great man, he left us two months back. We all in those times grew up on the courtesy of this uh, entrepreneur, and uh, as happened those times, I was implanting more than 2,000 IOLs in within two, three years. Because of my location, because, you know, the entire West Bengal had a long tail, and we were sitting right in the goose neck, uh, I mean, before we, you enter the city. So location is a very important aspect, and what I learned is in your practice. And, uh, of course, these young uh, people, my friends, Dr. Basak, Tushar, and the two Tushars, they joined me, is to maximize me in my practice. And uh, the only thing I said, what are you doing in a government job? Come join me. But uh, the security of the government job held them back. So, you know, you say that, you know, a commitment, there was a commitment amongst all of us. And that invokes a sacrifice, which I don't think is a big word. It's just that you give away your initial posi your position of strength for a more efficient future. And so I left my practice, that handsome practice, and I, they left their jobs. And they were the best at that time. And it was not you know, associating with subordinates. So we were associating with like-minded, uh, same uh, potential uh, doctors. So 
the journey went on and this collegiality of doctors they invited more doctors so we had sir. a very young group sir. of great doctors from uh, this patients were actually at that time going to south india um, from west bengal so we had to rapidly do things and uh, we had to uh, put in super specialities we had to train because we we were inclusive model because we wanted that everybody should come to the hospital though we were participative every patient has to pay so we believed in one thing that you know cost is the first thing to quality because unless it is affordable it's not there affordable is everybody even a 1 lakh uh, charging private practitioner for a cataract surgery is affordable otherwise how is he sustaining but uh, you know it depends on where you are and that it attends your affordability so but once you scale once you are inclusive it is that then you can scale up because if you are in that bracket so actually you know we were doing sics majorly till 2004 because we found the cataracts were hard the machines were not good enough the foldable lenses were not in place and uh, uh, maybe the money also wasn't there with my, our patients but when torsional came and these uh, lenses became uh, better the cataracts became softer we went on with faco so there were cert certain conscious choices that we made but we started torix early trifocals and uh, oct we give an oct for 300 rupees we throw cities we want to see the macula by optical coherence as simple as that so <coughs> we believe that technology is for simplification and uh, i think simplification is another word for sophistication if you can soft simplify you can that is the ultimate sophistication so you know we have optos for centers which see more than 500 patients we again throw it a one almost 60 80 lakh machine for 300 rupees because we saw that the retina consultants don't want to bend their back to find a hole so it's it's the most thankless job that they want to do <laughs> so might as well you know put this machine at work and i tell you uh, technically speaking they picked up 20% more holes than the retina surgeon did actually so we are very fascinated we have six installations all doing well so also with pascal lasers and we have these theaters and uh, these are costly but uh, i mean if you are doing 3000 and for at least 5 years so 15000 surgeries it doesn't come to more than 6 700 rupees per surgery so this is how the journey began began and you know we kept follow uh, following our following wherever we had uh, 50 patients we went on and opened a hospital because within 4 uh, years that would become 200 which was our cl critical mass of having a hospital right so uh, uh we were first in the periphery uh, mostly in the suburban areas and in the districts and then we came to the city and uh, eventually now uh, we are there we are 18 centers and uh, we eventually came to the city with this big infrastructure of 80000 square feet and uh, so i mean we were we had systems in place from 2003 now we operate on a as you are our aws we switched, switched over to aws so the staff growth is with uh, you know they grow as they learn multiple functions or they are uh, directed into training taking charge of a particular uh, system whether it be technical uh, technicians or uh, Uh, registration whatever or they take charge of centers they grow through the ranks we don't have uh, people joining collaterally at the top with the uh, suits and uh, ties so uh, the doctor's salary at the end which is a very costly component is actually a fee for service structure uh, which depends on the we uh, encourage branding of doctors and uh, when somebody is a brand then he can choose only to see his patients and not disha patients so there his uh, compensations go double so uh, and uh, you know this is a fairly competitive model so uh, we have to keep av recordings in critical places like the enquiry or surgery fixation 
and obviously, you know, this lovely group of ours still go on, and some of these little children are now doctors, so they will be <laughs> the next people for our hospital, and that's the best part for me at this age. So uh, post-COVID, I think this is the amount of cataracts that we did, all, all paying, and uh, this is the amount of 5,000 VR surgeries, about uh, 14,000 injections. And uh, OCT, about the lack of OCTs, as I was telling you, between 17, 20 machines. And uh, uh, we do uh, also routine OCT for cataracts. So it, uh, eventually, it's about a two lakh OCTs that we do. So this is the growth of OPD. You can see the COVID dip. We saw 10 lakh patients. But we, yes, even in the COVID year, which we saw 10 lakh patients. So now, and. Uh, this is the growth of the surgery. Last year we did 81,000. And uh, so we are fairly comfortable revenue wise. So about 29-30% uh, on the bottom line to work. Because all that has you've seen, the pictures that you've seen are from internal accruals and from patients' money. So the next, we are trying to our hand on the multi-speciality space because we guided by our patients. They say that, sir, aankha to ho gaya, par ye pair tootta hai, ya TKR karna hai, to kaan jaye. So let's see if we can do something for the TKR patients. Thank you very much. Thank you. Please. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, that was a brilliant uh, tale of how, uh, inspired by the Puchkawala person who did not get a government job, made Disha and now we will have multi-speciality Disha. So if you do get a government job, then what happens? And that Dr. Titial is going to tell us the story of the glory, a true Amazonian right from MBBS. So uh, he's going to talk about RP Center for Ophthalmic Sciences. Yes, please. What happened to him? I was inquisitive to know. <laughs> that lies you know the aspiring India is there so and unfortunately you know they are in welfare schemes so you take them out from that welfareism <laughs> 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 Sir, the great uh, take home message sir has given today is I think once you read to one level I think uh, ophthalmologists also should think about starting a multi-speciality hospital. That was the take-home message he has given. No, Ajay, Ajay asked this question, na, uh, Ajay asked this question, how it is affecting them? It's not, it will not affect the Devashis, it will affect the other people actually. Because they start quoting that, wahan pe itna kam hai aur jada. issue becomes this. And in fact, uh, from my consideration, they will never be at ease. Because if they charge 300, the other doctor cannot, cannot charge. 